add drums to your song quickly and easily using a free VST instrument. Welcome back to another simple green tech video where we look at tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you create great audio content. If that's what you're interested in, be sure to subscribe. I'm Radio Zane, and in today's video, we're looking at adding drums to your songs using a free VST plugin. Maybe you have a guitar track or a bass line or a synth line, or maybe all of the above, but you need a drum track and you don't have a drummer or the space to record drums in. What do you do? You download a free VST plugin and program your own drums. Today, we're going to be using Traction 7 as our DAW. It's free for everyone to download and full of professional features. We're also going to download the free drum plugin, MT Power Drum Kit. If you already have a DAW installed on your computer, you can use that and just install the drum plugin, or you can download Traction 7 for free, install that, and install the drum plugin. If you need help installing plugins and getting them to work in Traction, I've done another video on that. I'm gonna to link to it below so you can check it out. And if that's where you are, you might wanna go check that one out now and come back to this one right after. So now let's get started. I'm in Traction 7. I've already got a synth line done up in Hybrid, which is a $1 plugin on Plugin Boutique. It's amazing. Check it out. I've included the link to Plugin Boutique below. They also have some great free VST plugins like this bass plugin here. This is absolutely free. Go to pluginboutique.com, download it, and away you go. So let's just have a listen to what I have here. It's very basic for this video. All right, that's our very, very basic bass line and synth line for this video, but it's gonna work for our purposes here. We want to add the MT Power Drum Kit to an empty track. And in Traction, you can just right click over here Add new plugin, find the plugin that you want to add, and there you go. The great thing about MT Power Drum Kit is that it comes with grooves. You can audition these grooves and see what one fits best with your song. And don't worry, you can edit these later, so you're not stuck with the generic ones that are in there, even though those are great, you can use those. But if you're the type that likes to tinker a little bit and customize things, you can edit the grooves a little later. So let's just find one for our use here. So to audition it, you can just click on the one you want to audition, press play. That sounds pretty good for our purposes. So now what we'll do is drag it into the timeline like this, ignore, and then we'll bring it right to the beginning of our song. And now you can see that there's a little piece right here that doesn't have our drum in it. So what we're gonna do is just copy and paste by pressing Control C and Control V. Then we can just bring it back to here. Now we've got a full drum beat for our song. There you go, that's what we have right now. Now say we want to edit this last little bit right here just to give it some variety. Let's go into our piano roll and you can listen to what each note does. So which drum is for each note. This is going to be your kick. This is going to be your snare. And these are your hi-hats. And it looks like up here we have a crash. There's going to be some other drums in here. You can play around with all of those. Let's say we just want to add a little extra kick here. Another one here. And we'll put another crash right here. Let's hear what that sounds like. There, that gives us a little bit of variety there. And say you had another part to your song, like say this was your verse and you had a chorus and you want something a little bit different for that part. You can easily go back into MT Power Drum Kit, 
and look at something like say right here we had a closed hi hat part we can go over here to the open hi hat part and we'll just choose this one drag it in ignore and we can put that right here now let's listen to what that sounds like with a little bit of bass on it There you go. So now once your drums are in place, you might want to add some effects to it. And you can do that in traction really easily by going down to add new plugin. We're going to add this free compressor plugin that we got from plugin boutique. We can go into the presets, find a drum preset right there, double click it, close that. And now we have a compressed drum kit on our track. So what we want to do though, if in traction seven, your effect loads before the instrument, you just want to click and drag it to the other side so it comes after the instrument in the chain. That way it will actually be working for you. So here's what it sounds like with some compression. Now I want to know what type of music will you be creating? Let me know in the comments below. Also, feel free to link to your channel and any music you'd like me to check it out. I'd love to have a listen. If you're interested in creating great audio content and music, please give us a subscribe. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope it's helped you. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane. Talk soon. <laughs>